have more volume. <laughs> Thank you, Richard, for the uh, uh, earlier introduction, and, and thank you, Sai, for uh, your introduction here. Um, and so the question is, I mean, other than the fact that this is probably a first at Stanford where a middle-aged ma man gets up on stage, <laughs> loses his breath, <laughs> imitating a Korean pop star. Um, but, uh, um, you know, this is, you know, no ordinary um, pop star. I mean, it's a global phenomenon for those who don't know Psy. Something on the order of 300 million downloads on YouTube for his uh, rendition of Gangan Style. And the video that you saw here was inspired by uh, Gangan Style and incorporated by a uh, US company in Bethesda, Maryland that uh, um, has created a game called Skyview, excuse me. Ah. And, uh, um, you know, and you know, this is, you know, I think an increasing phenomena, but certainly, you know, um, Western audiences have long been fans of, you know, Japanese art and uh, stories and manga. I mean, Pokemon and uh, Mario is familiar, uh, Akira and uh, um, other uh, forms of uh, manga, you know, have been recently licensed by uh, Warner Brothers, you know, to produce uh, full motion videos for for global audience. And so, you know, what, what uh, um, I think this video really shows is that, you know, um, it's not um, just, you know, gaming as, you know, another form of entertainment going cross-border, but also going transmedia. And, uh, and I think that is, you know, a kind of a profound phenomenon that we see more and more of. Um, next slide. Self-control. Um, the, uh, a little bit about uh, me and uh, um, Signia Ventures. We're an early stage fund focused on uh, mobile and gaming. And consequently, you know, we're um, looking at um, companies that um, are coming to us from you know, um, various parts of the world. In fact, uh, you know, our, our, our fund is still fairly young, but fully a third of our companies are headquartered outside the US. And I think just as interestingly, a third of our domestic countries are also bringing in um, outside investors from other countries within the you know, very first rounds of financing. In terms of when we, when we think about mobile, I mean, we just think of it very, you know, um, usually, you know, simply it's, it's content, a form of entertainment, and those are actually the, you know, the games themselves. And underlying that, and what you will probably talk about a little bit on the panel is really the infrastructure, um, you know, tools and, and platforms, technologies that enable content. Uh, companies like Red Robot is uh, creating location-based platform so that uh, um, others can easily develop and incorporate location-based gaming elements into, into their product. Um, Next Media is a, a Chinese uh, partner for Red Robot and, and for example, um, took and uh, um, adapted um, Life is Crime, another game coming up, Life is Magic, uh, to Asian markets and, and I think it was at the, the top of the charts in, in Hong Kong. Uh, distribution, getting these things to market, is you know um, at least half the battle, and we'll probably talk more about that. Um, there's just a little bit more about uh, um, examples of you know early stage um, cross investment. Uh, Next Media came in um, very first round of financing with Red Robot, um, Zyologics. Um, we were an investor along with uh, um, uh, you know European-based uh, German venture capitalists, and uh, M&A. Of course, you know about uh, Green and Tencent. Um, are you know, very active in, uh, um, in consolidating uh, you know, space globally and not just in any one market. Um, this slide from uh, Luma Partners I think is really kind of interesting and it, and it 
you know, is sort of captures the, uh, the entire ecosystem in, in quite a bit of detail. But the one point I just want to um, emphasize is that even when you get into this much detail, you know, the major players are in pretty much, you know, all of the buckets, and they're not doing it just in, the, in their domestic market. They're, they're doing it uh, internationally. Um, Tencent and, uh, and GRI are prime examples of that. So now I've got my breath. Thank you.